Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be looking at the Arnu Sense 8 Smart RN1 Home Security System. We're gonna actually start out with an unboxing, just like always, and I'll go over all the details and feature of this one to why I particularly picked this security system. The Sense 8 system supports 1080p HD camera with night vision. In addition, it also features motion detector, two-way talk, temperature sensor, humidity sensor, ambient light sensor, automatic arm and disarm, smart alert technology, and lastly, my favorite is the backup battery, which means if the robbery or anybody happens to unplug the secure system, you will still have a 90 minute lifetime after it is being unplugged. Inside the box, the first thing we have is the user manual. You will not be needing this since I will be telling you exactly how everything function and work. And here we have the main focus of the entire video, the Sense8 home security system. The body is made out of aluminum. At the same time, it is extremely light. It is under one pound to be exact. It is 0.79 pounds, which is extremely light. On the front, we have the camera lens with the motion detector. At the bottom, we have the light indicator, power input, reset button, along with the microphone. On top is where the speaker is found, along with the light sensor, and the humidity and temperature sensor is actually located on the body itself. And lastly, we have the power adapter, along with the charging cord here. And once you have the power adapter plugged in, go ahead and search for the Sense 8 app on your iPhone or Samsung Android phone, whichever it is you may have. This supports both. So once you get a download, you simply open the app and follow the instruction on screen to add a new device. So to do that, simply hit the person icon on the bottom port here. After that, add Sense 8 and add as owner. Next, just simply follow the instruction on screen. Now, once you get to this port, you're gonna hear some cool or some pretty weird sound in which your phone is talking to the Sense 8 home security system. So let it do its thing for a couple of seconds and it will get connected. Once it's connected, you will know because the blue light at the bottom of the Sense 8 system will turn into a solid blue in color. And once connected, the camera is ready for you. So let me go ahead and show you a quick video clip of the camera itself here. So when you first connect the camera, you may notice that the resolution is set to a lower resolution. So it shoots in 480, 720, or 1080p. It's currently on 720. So I went ahead and changed it to 1080 as you can see there. And as you may already notice, at any given time on the top right corner there, there's the date and time. That way you know exactly when the image was shot or when a video was taken. So the Sense8 system also features what's called a Smart Health Index. And as claimed by the company, it is an amazing feature that can analyze your home environment and help you make healthy choices to improve your health. Storage-wise, the Sense8 system has a built-in 8 gig internal memory, which is enough to hold up to 830 second clips of videos. Now, when the memory is full, the system automatically deletes the oldest clip to make room for the newest one. You can also use the cloud storage, which is a completely free service by linking up your Dropbox account and all recorded video will be uploaded to your Dropbox. So now let's go ahead and go over all the different features that are on the actual app itself. Starting with the left side, that's where you viewed all your safe pictures and videos. Next we have this button. If you click this button, you will take a snapshot of the current video. So once you click it, you'll have a notification there that tells you a snapshot has been taken. Next we have an alert or an alarm icon. If you hit yes right here, the alarm will sound. And as you can hear guys, it is pretty loud. And to turn this off, simply press the same icon again and hit yes one more time to turn it off. Next we have the two-way talk button, which is a uh, microphone symbol. You can press this to listen to what's going on around the camera, or you can actually talk to the microphone within your phone and your voice will be transmitted back to the Sense8 system. Next, we have the resolution control. Again, it shoots in 480, 720, or 1080p. I always like to leave it on 1080. 
To take a closer look at a four object within the video, you can simply zoom in just like that and you can take a closer look at a video at any certain point in time, which is an extremely nice feature to have. Now I would like to show you my favorite feature which is unplugging the actual Sense8 device itself while it still works. So now let me go ahead and set down my phone here and unplug the device. Here as you can see the power adapter is unplugged but the Sense8 camera system still runs as if it was still plugged in all thanks to the backup battery. Now the backup battery have enough juice in there to run the system for an additional 90 minutes after it is unplugged which is an extremely cool feature to have. Many other home security cameras do not have this feature and for this feature alone is good enough for me to purchase this item. So now let me go ahead and show you a quick view of the angle of the actual camera here. So the camera I'm using right now is the G7X Mark II. So this is all you can see with this camera. But with the Sense8 system, this is what you can see here. So right away you'll notice the angle of the camera is much wider, which allows you to see much more of the house. So now let's quickly go over the different modes that the camera can be put in here. So under mode we have the arm, disarm, schedule and auto arm mode. When you put the camera into arm mode, every time the Sense8 camera system sends a motion or a noise detection, the camera will automatically send you a notification. So let me go ahead and wave my hand in front of the camera. And right away you will see that it sends me a notification right away that the camera sends some kind of motion detection. So let's go ahead and disarm it and turn that off. Now next you can also set a schedule for every single day of when you want the camera to arm and when you want it to disarm. Or you can actually use the smart function of the auto arm mode here. Now at the bottom, this is where you control all the different settings as to what kind of notification do you want the camera to send you as to motion, weather, temperature, or noise, whichever it is, you can set everything up in here. And this tab here is the event tab. So as you notice, here is the video that automatically recorded when I move my hand. So every time it sends whatever it is that you want it to sense, then it automatically recorded in a video clip of 30 seconds. And now what I'm gonna do is actually turn all the lights off that way it can be pitch black and show you how well the Sense8 home security system does with the night vision. So this is what it looked like with my G7X Mark II. Now I'm gonna turn on the camera for the Sense8 and show you how it looks like. And this is what you see with the Sense8 system. As you can see, you can pretty much see everything still and you can actually still zoom in. You can see the kitchen, all the spatula, my refrigerator, all the cup and glasses up there on the shelf. Everything is still actually pretty clear. Now what I'm gonna do is wave my hand in front of the camera and you can see my hand clearly and pretty well for it being so close to the camera lens. So overall, I really like the Sense8 camera system. My favorite point of it all is the backup battery. Now, did I mention that this thing looks just like the automatic air freshener that everybody have in their house, which is also a plus because when thieves come into your house, they may just not even pay attention to it. So again, I will leave a link to this product in the description box below. If you're in a market for a home security system, go ahead and check it out and grab you one or a couple of these. And thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.